Good morning and welcome to another weekend ride and this time around we are going to Kudremuk. We've got about uh, 8 party spins. I've got one now from Mangalore, uh, Alok, who's joined me and then um, uh, we've got uh, Kirtan who's gonna join and, and then we've got Envy from Udupi, Pratamesh from Udupi and a friend of Anway. Uh, which is tentative now so these are the tentative members and um, yeah i am using uh, the royal enfield new jacket which was sent to me which is a sustainable jacket made out of uh, uh, plastic bottles or recycled plastic bottles so i'm using that i'm also going to do a small review of this jacket so this is a 90 percent mesh jacket <laughs> looking at the weather condition um, uh, through the day I thought this would be probably one of the best picks and uh, since we're also gonna do a lot of trails uh, I need something which can breathe better and uh, that way I'm sorted so yeah that's the whole idea so Alok is riding in Apache again with me and uh, yeah so finally I get a company for Hermes so this is probably the first time uh, I've got an Apache rider joining me. So I'll catch you guys after our breakfast uh, at uh, Renuka. Whoa! I didn't want to record anything before breakfast. But look at this. This is pretty much Mangalore. Man, it's complete foggy. Barely you have some visibility. And this is near Pilikula. Wow. I wasn't gonna record anything till breakfast. But then, uh, yes, if I get something like this, views like this, I'll definitely go ahead and record and uh, show you guys. Man, look at that. There is absolute no visibility going forward. I need to turn on my headlight. Barely any visibility, barely any visibility. I don't know if GoPro is able to justify this beauty. Whoa. Whoa. It's just amazing. So we just finished our breakfast at uh, Renuka at Bajagoli and this, I, people who follow me know how much I love this place. This is one of my most favorite breakfast joint and uh, anytime I cross this road or anything, even if I'm full, I stop here, I eat something. The food out here is absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah, time to head towards uh, Kudremuk now <coughs> so let's start the weather in the morning was beautiful it was just um, amazing looking place it was just amazing looking scenery all across and most of the places you could not even see because of the amount of fog which was there and all of that started from I uh, think it was uh, near Pilikula from there we started getting fog and there was crazy amount of uh, fog in Gurpura and you know going forward so now amazing breakfast time to head to our next location and have some fun as well. Just entered uh, Kudremuk. Uh, the officials asked to turn off the GoPro and you know not to turn on any of the cameras. 
so I had to switch off everything. And now we are in uh, Kudremukh Road. So you get about uh, 90 minutes to be from here to Samse. You'll have to cross it within that 90 minutes. Uh, and if you delay beyond that, uh, you will be charged a fine. So ideally, that is done so that nobody stops in between and you know, uh, nobody does any monkey business around. That's the whole reason why that um, 90 minutes slot is kept. The roads apparently are bad. That's what uh, the person at Hotel Renuka informed that roads are not really good because of rains. And uh, every day after 2 o'clock, uh, there's been heavy rains here, lightning, thunder. And uh, he said even today it will be more or less similar. So idea is to reach before that, which we'll easily do. So it's about another one and a half hour ride before we reach our homestay. We'll go towards our homestay and then drop all our uh, luggages there. And from there, uh, we will go to explore our trail. Or we'll figure out if we have to go before. So those are dynamic plans as and when we go we will figure out what to do it's a nice warm day so that's why i was wearing uh, the royal enfield jacket and also my denim uh, riding pants and not the regular uh, riding pants so i'm wearing a riding uh, denim riding pants so as far as um, it goes with the performance of this jacket, it's really good uh, since it's 90% uh, mesh, there's good uh, ventilation and the weight of the jacket is very very light so that's the best part of it especially when you plan to do trails and everything, lighter the jacket better it is you will have more uh, ventilation going on and you know you will not uh, feel fatigued so soon and it only enhances your overall experience so far so good with this jacket I love this and even the fit is very nice nice fitting so you see this curve this is in uh, Kutremuk I just did a topic of target fixation and what happens that's exactly happened to one of our rider today while coming so this is a never-ending corner and you fix your target and that's when you overshoot the entire that's when you overshoot the target and go and uh, this is one of uh, Apache the rider who was coming and he overshot it because of the target but luckily he came and landed in these soft muddy patches because of which nothing has happened a little bit of wear and tear here and there um, so the headlamp took a little bit of impact crash guard took most of the impact and also the sari guard so Luckily, things are fine. Alok is a rider. He's all good. Nothing has happened to him. So, yes, now you know what is target fixation in real life in terms of a proper live example. Now, Alok is there. Looks like he's all comfortable. And thanks to riding gears. This is one of the other reasons why I talk so much about riding gear and how important it is to have riding gears. And I don't uh, allow anybody to join the ride without the riding gear as well. So for me, it's mandatory that you wear a riding gear if you have to be a part of the ride. And uh, luckily Alok was uh, one of those guys who said he had uh, riding gears and that's why I allowed. And you can see on his uh, hand and everything. So when he was entering the corner, he didn't realize the corner is steep and it will continue to curve in. Uh, he went on and he had the, the target fixed. And his uh, focus was so much on that particular target, he didn't realize it. He had to take a turn and uh, yeah, ended up having a collision. But all good now. But all good now. And uh, yeah, we are on our way. So that 90 minutes. Um, timing that they give for us to cross Kudremuk, I think we are we are definitely going to overshoot that because we easily spend a good 
20 25 minutes here now sorting out uh, our look so that's going to be a little concerning now any which way we have all the footages um, about him having a collision and everything so that should not be a problem if we can explain why we are delayed uh, and we had a genuine reason to be delayed so that should work so right now i'm going to take it a little slow and study um, because what was also happened was uh, i was speeding up a little bit which might have triggered alok also to kind of speed up and uh, yeah which got us into this position oh, look at this this is beautiful entire place you have greenery you have mountain ranges you have multiple different plants and vegetation you have sky there you have multiple layers of sky you have proper sky blue and then a little fading then the fog the mist the multiple layers of mountains right in front of you is just the picture perfect a road that you can see and there's one such a road which is worth while coming any time of the year to kudremukh it is very very good um we initially had planned to stop uh, one or two places here and then take some photos and then go ahead but today unfortunately we will not be able to do that because of the mishap which happened with alok we already spent about 20 minutes uh, kind of relaxing him there and uh, uh, getting whatever necessary things we had to do due to which uh, we lost a lot of time and then you get only 90 minutes to reach from the base of kudremuk to samse so that's why we don't have time at all we have to just rush in and i'm sure we are uh, delayed and we will be questioned well we have the answers any which way easy one nimsha so 